Hi there, and welcome to the course. My name is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to walk you through the course. So what you see is in the center, but notice on the left, there is the course index, and you can open it up. It's a lot easier to navigate the course by going into the left here, the uh, course index, and then you can jump from one notice topic section to another. There is a summer semester with announcements and an introduction, and then there's the course information, course readings, live meeting links uh, with a presentation for the Zoom meetings and a support form. Please use the support forms for questions. Do not use the messaging system at the top right to write your messages, but use the support form so others can also benefit from your questions. There's also the course assignment information and notice the different sub headings here that you can look at separately. And then there is the support form for questions. This is the submission area that you will use for your work your final project. And there's also a support form. And the final support form, notice it's private. There's also immersive technologies um, submission area. This is where you submit your videos. And right now it's locked. The introduction, that's where we begin, where you introduce yourself. And let's have some fun. Then there's unit one with the different elements. Notice that these will turn green once you complete the activities, so pay attention to the left here. Once you do something and I grade it, you'll be able to see the circle filled in. Right now, you'll see to do if you scroll your mouse over it, hover your mouse over it. Then there's unit two, and then the different activities under and tasks, as well as resources, content, readings that you have to go through in week or in unit two. Notice to do, these are all to do, which means that you have to review the lectures as well as uh, submit your work through the discussion forms. Notice unit three, which has one, two, three, four, five sections. And then at the end here, notice uh, this is a chance for you to communicate with the other participants under the student chat area and the course evaluation, which is locked right now at the end of the course. When you complete the task, you'll get a chance to add your feedback. And there are two feedback questions, questionnaires there. So let's close the course index. And notice uh, if I didn't show it to you, when you click on any of these, it takes you right there. So if I go into elements of immersion over here and click on it, it'll take me, there is the elements of immersion. It's like a book. You can go through it by going through the table of contents or through uh, these arrows going to the next one and so on. So in order to get back, I will go to open course index again, and then I can go to the very top or I can continue wherever I am. I'm going to go to the very top here so we can go to the main course page. Going to close that, as I said before, and go into the right block. Notice it says open block drawer. And this is where you will see the latest announcement that will appear here. And upcoming events will appear here. And then the users that are online, notice there's another online user right now. And then there's an agent here. You might want to try it out. It's an AI for questions. And you can add comments here as well, if you wish. Let's go into, these are the activities. Notice forms and resources. If you go into the forms, this is where you can subscribe. I subscribe to all the forms because I want to be updated. But you can also get notifications by going into your profile. And in your profile, you'll get a chance to choose under notifications and preferences. If you go to preferences, under preferences, you'll be able to go into notification preferences and choose how you want to be notified, whether by email or you want to get your notifications here when you log into the site or on your phone. So it's really up to you. So as I said, I subscribed to all the forms. Notice you're now subscribed to everything because I want to know. And you might want to as well. But even if you go into one of the uh, forms, let's go back to the middle here so we can go to the top. Notice 
the left is your guide. That's how you go from one uh, to the next. You'll also get your badges um, here, the latest badges once uh, you get them. And there are a few badges if you want to know what they look like. You can find them here just under the course name. Notice right now I'm under course. I can go into the participants list, but I'm not going to do that now, but you can. Uh, these are the grades and uh, the way they're set up. Okay, for everything is out of 100. If you do the task according to the criteria, you get 100. And the criteria is available. I'll show you where it is. And then the badges, as I said, notice there is a badge for each unit as well as an introduction badge. So let's go back into the course so I can show you what I mean by criteria. If you scroll down, you can do that. That's the first section. Okay, and you'll get information here, course assignments information area, and you'll get criteria, the breakdown of uh, all the uh, tasks. You'll get 100, as I said, you don't get in between grades. You just have to do what you have to do according to the criteria. And you get 100. If you click on the criteria, it'll take you to a Google Doc where you'll be able to have a checklist and make sure that you do the assignments according to the criteria. Just want to mention here that everything is based on peer learning, where you're learning by doing. You're going to create videos. So get your webcam ready. Uh, you can use your phone, of course, but uh, it's better if you use your desktop and you will be walking us through uh, the content. You'll be creating everything using Canva and there's more. There's a video on that as well. So let's go back to the course. Here we are. We're back in the course and um, notice the dates as well. All the information's here until August 11. From August 12, you'll be working on your project and you've got plenty of time. Okay, there is a um, Canva screen recorder link and you can use other screen recorders if you wish. These are the projects. I'll let you take a look at that and the criteria for the final project, which is also on a Google Doc and you can go through it. There's the explanation, the criteria, the points and uh, the grade that you will get out of 100. It's um, 70 for the coursework and 30 for the final project. And of course, the submission area will be open when the time comes. Right now, it's uh, hidden from you. So we can start with the introductions. Okay, um, you click on it and you've got to go into a form. Okay, there it is. And you'll be introducing yourself using Voki avatar, Hey Jen, or DID. They're all completely free. And these are the items that you will share with us, your name and so on. You can go through that. There's also a video here on how to create a speaking avatar and how to create Hey Jen avatar, which is actually a talking photo, or DID for talking photos. So there are three ways that you can introduce yourself. You can introduce yourself in all three, if that's what you wish. So this is, if I scroll all the way down, this is the introduction. If I go to the left here, which I'm going to do, you'll notice that this is where I am right now under introduction. And then there's unit one, elements. If I go in the middle, I'll be able to see that. I can close the left here, the course index, and notice reading. This is to do. If you see a to do, you know that it's required. You have to view it. And then there's readings for week one, which should be required, but it's not. Um, and then there is, of course, definition of immersion. And it's to do, you need to get 100, receive a grade out of 100, a passing grade. And then, of course, uh, everything else. So this is um, elements of immersion. Notice there are three activities for that. That's in unit one. And I suggest you work at a regular pace. 10 minutes a day is fine. 
20 minutes. Don't overdo it, but don't underdo it as well. You don't want to lag behind. You can't start the final project unless you finish everything. And then there's unit two. And let's go to the center. We'll close the left here. Notice uh, unit two is about popular virtual and augmented reality technologies. There is a uh, video on how to create your, your videos with a PowerPoint pres with a presentations using Canva. And then notice there's to do this. You need to go over that and then the readings. There's a support form. Please use it as I mentioned before and not use the messaging area at the top right there. And notice there are three activities that you need to do in unit two. In unit three, notice there are, it's the applications of immersive experiences. There are, there's the explanation how to do it. The tasks, I see this is twice, I'll just erase one, sorry about that. And then there is a required reading here and this is not required, it's up to you. And then there are four activities in unit three. And that's it. That's the course in a nutshell. And I'm looking forward to your input. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the interaction and try to um, also watch each other's work because that's what it's about. So you can get an idea of uh, what's expected if you're not the first to start out. Enjoy the course. Thank you.